Hello everyone, how are you? I am Akrash, your teacher here and I will teach you different questions and their answers. So I welcome you on ClassTheta.com. So our today's question is Illable hints Reset help one a carbohydrate that yields many monosaccharides when hydrolyzed the carbohydrate to a simple a simple sugar is composed of equate parts of carbon and water which give rise to the general name of any sugar as a monosaccharide three. A polysaccharide cannot be hydrolyzed any further because it can be split into two monosaccharides, monosaccharides for lactose. The sugar in milk is a disaccharide. The answer of the question is Let's clarify and match the terms to the provided statements. 1. A carbohydrate that yields many monosaccharides when hydrolyzed is a, is a carbohydrate polysaccharide. This type of carbohydrate consists of long chains of monosaccharides units when, carbohyl, when hydrolyzed. It yields many monosaccharides. Examples include starch and cellulose. 2. A simple sugar is composed of equal parts carbon and water which give rise to the general name of any sugar as a monosaccharide. Monosaccharide, the name monosaccharide comes from the Greek words of single mono and sugar saccharide reflecting its simplest form of carbohydrate often with the general formula CH2O into N where is N is typically 3 to 7 examples include glucose and fructose. Three, a polysaccharide cannot be hydrolyzed any further because it can split into two monosaccharides. This statement is incorrect for polysaccharides. The polysaccharide can be hydrolyzed into more than two monosaccharides. The correct statement was described this acrylate, which a carbohydrate that can be hydrolyzed into two monosaccharides. Example includes sucrose and lactose. Four. Lactose the sugar in milk is a dis acre rich. This acre right lactose is indeed a disaccharide consisting of two monosaccharide glucose and lactose. So the completed statement are one a carbohydrate that is many monosaccharides when hydrolyzed is a polysaccharide. Two. A simple sugar is composed of equal parts carbon and water which give rise to the general name of any sugar as a monosaccharide. 3. A discolorite cannot be hydrolyzed any further because it can be spilled into two monosaccharides. 4. Lactose, the sugar milk, and is a discolorite. So that's the correct answer of the question. If you have any question, just leave a comment. I'll be answering you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. Until next question, bye bye.